Having had his lemon sorbet tea, Walter was ready to take on Panda Mick. He turned to the awesome veggie warriors at, and hot dog Steve, and together they saw in the distance Panda Minion pogoing away through the mountains towards a mysterious curl of smoke, a volcano. Let's get after him, Walter exclaimed, and out here Roby smiled and said, I have just the vehicle. He casually strolled into his hut. There was a rumble, and a clank, and a crash. And then the doors opened, and out came a turbo-powered, supercharged, onion-flavoured taco van. Out here, Robies tackled onions. The veg warriors and Walter climbed inside. Hot Dog Steve jumped onto the roof, and they drove off. Out of the swamp, and over the hills, towards the smoke from the volcano. As our valiant heroes came to the top of the volcano, out here Roby hit the brakes on his onion taco van and they screeched to a halt. They couldn't believe their eyes. In the crater of the volcano, there was a huge factory with giant chimneys, smoke billowing out of them. Catnip Carb sniffed the air. What's that smell? It smells... tasty. We have to stop this now, said Walter. Panda Mick must be using lava to burn all the vegetables. Now we need a plan. We must assemble the veggie warrior mech, declared Catnip. Wow, thought Walter. That sounds awesome. And a bit like something I've seen on TV before, too. Out here, Obi smiled again and said, But we are missing the six key components. If only I'd remembered to bring them. They couldn't send the veggie warriors. Uh, what if they never came back? They were needed here to stop Panda Mick, and it made no narrative sense to send Walter, so what could they do? Then they heard. Ahem. <clears throat> they turned, and standing on top of the onion taco van, with the sun gleaming behind him, was Hot Dog Steve. What a hot dog. And as he ran into the distance looking epically heroic and a bit lost, Catnip Carb turned to Walter and said, Once we have built the mech, we'll be able to battle with Panda Mick, but we will need something to trap him in afterwards. I hear you are a great inventor, Walter. And Walter said, Which roughly translates as yes. And from his hat, Walter pulled his build-it-yourself portable self-inflating inventor tent. He climbed inside and started to build the giant trap. And barely a few seconds, Walter emerged with the most amazing invention you'd ever seen. It had lemon bombs and a tickling feather and a Brussels sprout sword and a karate chopping martial arts arm. It was perfect. At exactly the same time, Hot Dog Steve reappeared holding a lemon, a metal sock, a magnet, a lamp, an oversized lolly stick, and a vest. It's time to stop the Big Veg takedown. The Veg Warriors assembled the Veg Ninja mech. Oh yeah. Unbeknownst to Walter, at that very moment, Panda Mech casually looked out of the window of his volcano factory. <gasps> he could see, on the edge of the crater above him, the Veg Ninja mech striding down the mountain towards him. There was going to be an epic battle. Panda Mick climbed into his anti-ninja mech and charged. They fought. Hot Dog Steve got shot out of a cannon. The battle was so awesome and surprisingly brief. The Panda Mech started to fall apart and Panda Mick and Panda Million fell through the sky. Walter threw himself across the floor, sliding his trap below the pandas and he hit the on button. And they were tickled and lemon bombed and karate chopped and Brussels sprouted and caught. Walter had done it. They had stopped Panda Mick and... Uh, wait a minute. 
that smoke does smell really tasty. Panda Mick turned to Walter and said, You've got the wrong end of the celery. Hmm. Walter dragged Panda Mick into the volcano factory and, as suspected, in the middle of a huge room was a giant vat of boiling vegetables with the smoke, the tasty smelling smoke, rising up through the chimney above them. But he wasn't burning these vegetables. He was making a delicious soup. Panda Mick opened a door at the back of the factory to reveal a hidden world behind the huge walls. And there, dancing and prancing, were rabbits and donkeys and pigs. And they were all eating soup. Panda Mick explained that he had rescued these animals from all around the world and he was just looking after them but he didn't have enough food to feed them. So he had decided to take all the vegetables to make a giant soup so that they would be okay. He was trying to do good. Walter frowned and explained that that's not quite how it works, Panda Mick. Walter had to admit though, it was a very impressive thing that Panda Mick was doing, even if he had taken his carrots. Walter took a few of his carrots home to replant and then he said, let's spend the rest of today helping make this soup and then let's have a party. They laid out the biggest picnic blanket you can imagine and then with the donkeys and the rabbits and the pigs, they all sat around and they ate soup and they laughed because they had uncovered the mystery of the big veg takedown. We hope you've enjoyed the online adventures of Walter Lemonface. Thank you so much for all of your amazing ideas and sounds and pictures that you've sent us. It's been so much fun and it's been really amazing. So until the next time, thank you very much and goodbye from Walter Lemonface and his friends. You know, said Pandemic, there is just one thing missing from this soup. A little squeeze of lemon. <gasps> Walter gulped. <laughs> <laughs>